Hey, my name is Gaia Athena and today I'm bringing you some book reviews of some graphic works that I've read. Um, there is some manga in here, some graphic novels and some graphic memoirs. Most of the books I liked, but there were two that I didn't like. So let's just get into it. The first book I read was A Silent Voice Volume 4 by Yoshitoki Oima. This continues the story. The story is about a boy named Shoya who in the past when he was a kid was very cruel to this girl named Shoko. She is deaf and then they meet again like in high school. Anyway, this continues the story. Um, I liked it but I had a bit of trouble um, distinguishing some of the characters because in this series, let's see if I can find an example, some of the characters like here they have a cross in front of their face and that makes it even harder for me to distinguish them i think it's more a me thing though because because i have like partial face blindness so in like real life i recognize people mostly by their hair and if people change their hairstyle i sometimes have trouble recognizing them so it, it is a problem that i've had sometimes with multiple manga um, Mangas are usually printed in like black and white, like black ink on a white page. And so there's no color, so I can't go by hair color as easily. Um, so I think it's just me. Um, if you read these closer together, because I've been reading a volume like every month or sort of thing, except last month in May, I didn't um, read it, then you'll probably be able to remember the characters better and stuff so I think it's just a thing a me thing but I did enjoy this volume oh and there were a couple of side characters in here that I thought were quite ableist so I look forward to see if like if that gets called out in a later volume or not or what happens with that so here is some of the art of a silent voice then next up I read fruit basket volume 5 and fruit Fruits Basket Volume 6, both by Natsuki Takaya. I have been reading this series uh, two a month, except last month. And um, so these are Volume 5 and 6. I have read up to Volume 7 previously, so these two were rereads, but soon it will be new to me volumes. Um, and these two continue the story. Um, this series is about a girl, Toru Honda, who uh, becomes an orphan and then goes to live with the Soma family. Um, but they, um, the members of the Summer family have a curse. I don't, I don't want to say too much. I'm not sure how much is considered spoilers. Anyway, these two volumes continue the story. One thing I like about this series is that in the beginning, um, I don't, I don't think book one has it, but like the other books I think have it, is it's got a list of like the characters or the main characters. And I find it really useful and I refer to it because, as I said with the previous book, I sometimes struggle to recognize characters in manga and graphic novels. So I found that list really helpful. And yeah, I like reading these two volumes. And then Fruits Basket. Now I get to a book I unfortunately didn't like and that is Cucumber Quest Book 4, The Flower Kingdom by Gigi Nietzsche. Uh, this is a fantasy series, I think for middle grade, and it is about like Cucumber and his sister Almond, and they go sort of on a quest to save the fantasy world from this evil being. And I really like the first three volumes in this series, particularly volume one, and I like the humor, but this volume, I did not get on with it, unfortunately. I found that the scenes change very abruptly, like from one page to the next or one frame to the next, the characters are suddenly somewhere different or characters that were together are no longer together. And I felt this was done very abruptly, so I was kind of confused. I also couldn't remember some, who some of the characters were. I think this um, is something that if you if you read the volumes closer together, I've been reading one a month except last month, then I think you'll be able to remember it better. But I got a bit lost. The story seemed a bit convoluted and like 
I felt that there were some good twists in here, but like it could have been done better. Um, maybe you'll enjoy this. I don't know. It could be just me being tired, but I, I was confused, to be honest. So, um, this volume was a bit darker in tone. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't really like this one. Then I read I Hate Fairyland Volume 3, Good Girl by Scotty Young. And I'm glad to say that I like this volume. Yeah, it was it was good, it was funny, it was colourful. There were some twists in here that I did not see coming. And yeah, I really like this. It has some nice colourful art. Oh, this series is about a girl named Gert who ends up in Fairyland and she can't find her way home so she's stuck there for a while so she is like a I don't know 30 or 40 year old woman stuck in this child's body um, this is serious it's definitely for adults there's a lot of like blood and gore in it and yeah I enjoyed this volume well here is some of the art it's quite colorful which I liked then I read my lesbian experience with loneliness by Nagata Kirby and this is a a manga memoir. Um, there are two more in this like memoir series. This is definitely for adults um, because sex is discussed in this and there are some pictures. So I can show you some of the art but not all of it. Um, and this is about well, the author and her, like, her life and her journey and mental health plays a role and, yeah, also sex. So, yeah, I found this interesting, but it did not feel the story is not finished. So, uh, I'm glad I have the other two volumes because, yeah, it, it didn't, there wasn't much of a clue in yet, if that makes sense, I felt, but... I did enjoy mental health stuff and the LGBT elements and yeah. I find it a bit hard to describe this book to be honest. I I liked it, but I haven't really read anything like it, so I'm not sure. Yeah. Then we have the memoir Be Prepared by Vera Bosco. Bosco? This author has a written a graphic novel called Anya's Ghost and maybe she's done other stuff as well. Um, I read Anya's Ghost and I liked it, so based on that, I decided to buy this memoir. And this is about Vera's camp, camping experience. Um, she uh, goes to a Russian camp. Um, this is based on her experience, but it's also, um, it's not like 100% the same. Um, it explains it in the author's notes, so some things have been more streamlined and stuff like that. Um, I enjoyed this uh, book. I'll show you some of the art. Oh yeah, I didn't say, but a uh, colouring by Alec Longstrath. I enjoyed this memoir. I found it an interesting read. Um, I have never been to a camp like this. She goes to a Russian camp, like the summer camp. Um, so I can't relate in that matter. I have read other books about camps. This is set in the United States. Um, for was born in Russia and then moved to the United States with her family at, at some point. And yeah, I found it a nice read. Then I read Stitches by David Small. This is also a, a graphic memoir. This is about the author and health problems and his family. And I'm not sure how much to say, like, what well, is a spoiler or not. Most of the book is when he's a child and teenager. I'll show you some of the art. I found it an interesting story to read. At times it was heartbreaking. Um, so sometimes it was kind of hard to read emotionally for what David has gone through. Like um, certain health problems and uh, with his family. And yeah, I found it an interesting read. Then I read Level Up by Jean Luan Yang and art by Tian Fan. I have read another book by Jean, Jean Luan Yang that is American born Chinese. I like that book, but I didn't 
like really like it anyway i'm glad to say that i like this one more i really love this cover um this is a, a graphic novel um involving a i, I want to say dennis Uyan. is it that's the main character he is chinese american just like the author and it is about him going to medical school and he likes video games and one day these four angels come into his life i don't want to say too much because spoilers so it has some um like fantastical elements i'm not sure how you want to pull that the the coloring palette changes some pages are like certain colors and so i liked yeah, i like the way the art was done and I, yeah, I enjoyed this. Then we get to the last book, and that is Check Please, book one, hashtag hockey. And uh, this is about a gay boy named, and he gets into the hockey team at, I want to say, is it a college? Oh, university, sorry. At the university. And this is, this book is two years, it's freshman year and sophomore year. I have to look this stuff up because. I was confused with all these terms because we don't have them here like that so so i had picked this book up based on the recommendation of a couple of people who are also on booktube and i was mainly interested in like the lgbt elements because i am not a huge sports fan like at all um, so the main character his nickname is bitty uh, he also likes baking the pie and and he also makes vlogs. So in the story sometimes you see him making vlogs. So sometimes during the story, Eric Bittel is his name, but Bitty is his main name. He makes vlogs. And so some of the story is like these panels of kind of him talking to the camera. But then other parts of the story are just like drawn. I like the art style, but there are unfortunately quite a few things I also didn't like about this book. The university slang and the hockey slang, ice hockey slang went over my head a bit. There was a lot I didn't understand. Ice hockey is not a thing in the Netherlands. I'm not sure if we even get it on TV. I mean, maybe? I, I really don't know. The fact that we don't have a TV signal in the bakery does not help with that, but... Um, Hockey is played in the Netherlands, but then without eyes, we just call it hockey. And the type of hockey in this, we refer to as ice hockey. Or in Dutch, ice hockey. So a lot of this kind of sports stuff went over my head, which is a bit of a shame. I have to say, I got a bit bored during the sort of past where they were talking about that. For about 40%, I got 40% into the book and then they explained what checking is which is what the title referred to and to be honest I'm still a bit confused about that. Now this is more my fault I think than the book because the book is probably more targeted towards like American and Canadian people who do know more about ice hockey and who know more about the slang um, and the words that are being used and all that. So like I said I like the vlog bits, I like, the, I like that the main character liked baking I would have liked to see more school stuff because he is at university so this, this covers the first two years of his university but other than one course that he does we never hear about what he studies i don't know how it works for american universities in the netherlands you generally have to pick a specific study or a specific subject and you get different courses depending on that some courses um, are in multiple studies like i studied chemistry but we did have some maths and physics as well but if you study, for example, you study Dutch or English, just to name something, you don't get maths and physics. You, you get courses that are related to, uh, for example, Dutch history, Dutch language, to, to, to Dutch literature, just to name something. So I would have liked to learn more about what he actually is studying. Um, there was not much of that in there at all other than that one course that was mentioned. There wasn't as much like romance and focus on the LGBT elements as I would have wanted. I found it was a lot more focused on the hockey rather than like 
the LGBT elements and I was way more interested in the LGBT elements than in the hockey. Um, I also didn't really understand the group dynamics, which I think is more of a fault of mine. Um, I have autism. This is not the first book in which I have trouble understanding the group dynamic. So I think that's more to do with me. There are some extras in this book. So this is all extras. So at first there were some extra comics, which I liked those. And um, they explained a few uh, hockey terms, which I thought, I wish I kind of had known that earlier on in the book rather than at the end. Um, because that would have been useful. Um, but then there were the extras of tweets. Let me just show you the first the first few pages of that. So it's just pages of the main character tweeting. And I, to be honest, I don't really see the added value of that. Like it was just going through the whole story again, but done um, then with like little tweets. And if that had been like sprinkled throughout the book, it would have been fine, but I didn't feel like going over the whole story again when I had just finished it and I didn't really like it. I struggled through like especially the more hockey heavy parts of it. So I have to admit I got quite bored reading these tweets um, and I skipped the last few pages of it. I was expecting more romance and there wasn't as much of that as I was expecting. It kind of just ended a bit too soon. I felt like it could have been shorter. We could have gotten to that ending quicker and then gotten beyond it. But I guess if you liked all that hooky stuff, then you like reading about that. It's just, it just wasn't for me. This book was not for me, but if you do like uh, reading about ice hockey and like college university stuff, then you may very well like this. I did not connect with the university stuff because my university town was very different from that, gladly. Um, so I don't really like, there was drinking in here and parties and hazing i think is the word and that is just like all that university culture that is just not my thing but if you do like those kind of things and most people i think do then you will like this book um, i did like the art style i liked some elements of it but in, in the end it was just not for me i also had trouble telling some of the characters apart after a while you get some new characters joining the team and I had trouble telling them apart who they were exactly. So, but again, like I said about some earlier books mentioned in this video, that's uh, maybe more to do with me in that I have trouble recognizing characters and remembering names. To be honest, I was disappointed with this. I was expecting more from it. I was expecting to really like it. And unfortunately I didn't. So that was this whole pile of books. Um, overall, I enjoyed most of these. There were two I didn't like. That happens. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching me reviewing all of these books and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!